Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm uh, offering you to get gratification from Super Fight in the category is light middle weight. We Attention the to the fight. video screen. and gentlemen, I'm going to invite to the red corner, the fighter from Croatia, Teo Mikkeli. Here we go, Teo Mikkelic coming into the ring right now. Let's go through his numbers for you. Give me one second to pull him up. This fight is going to be a really good one as he's going up against Nikola Semyesha. Nikola, who did fought, fight Vlad Tunov last year and lost by an unanimous decision, is a very, very tough fighter. Very tough. And he's going to be very tough for Mikelic. But Mikelic, in his own right, is extremely tough. This is going to be a really good one. This is one of the fights I've been really looking for. I know Nikola's trainer, uh, Misha. And he's an absolutely wonderful guy and a great trainer. And Nikola, who just, by the way, fought two weeks ago in China, and he won. So he's had two weeks to come back, train, relax, and get himself prepared for this fight. We'll see how that plays out in I'm going tonight's to match. To the blue corner, the fighter from Serbia, Nikola Chimesa. Here we go, Tio Mikelic, Croatian. He's a uh, debut for W5. His overall record, however, 16 fights, 11 wins, seven by knockout, five losses. He is a powerful, powerful fighter. 24 years old, 178 centimeters, 71 kilograms. Nikola Semiesa, Semiesa. Sorry if my pronunciation isn't right. He's two and one in W5 fights, but overall 32 fights, 26 wins, 11 knockouts, and six losses. 23 years old, 178 centimeters, 71 kilograms. These guys are the same height. Records are very close. This is going to be tough. Their actual weigh-in weights were Teo Mikhailov, 69.5 kilograms, and Nikola Semyesha, 70.9. Nikola a little bit heavier, but not much of a difference, and shouldn't play much of a factor in this fight. Evenly matched. Let's see how it goes. I'm pumped to watch this. I love Nikola Semyesha. He's a lot of fun to watch, and, uh, and I love his manager. He's great. Introducing the fighter in the red corner, 24 years old, 178 centimeters. His professional record is 16 fights, 11 wins, 7 victories, 5 of knockout, and 5 losses. The representative of Croatia, ladies and gentlemen, Dao! Fighter, 23 years old. His height is 178 centimeters. His professional record is 32 fights, 26 wins, 11 victories by way of knockout, and six defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicola Renanchunu from Serbia. Here we go. Very evenly matched. Let's get it going on here. And your referee in the ring is Igor Schmidt from Slovakia. <laughs> hey, Igor Schmidt will be the referee. Fighters touch glove. These are some serious dudes right here. 
very experienced. Both of them travel internationally very well. They got a good following. Let's see who takes it. Again, you see out of this level, these guys are very patient, looking for openings and signs. See Nikola trying to be the aggressive, throwing a lot, a lot of power behind his punches and kicks. Nice knee by Nikola, first one to land. Nice mid kick by Teo. The fighters right now showing their speed and their power. Trying to throw him that over a big overhand right, but really quite far away from Teo. Again, both fighters, even records, even height, even weight, even knockouts. Nick landing a good left. Oh, a nice mid kick by Nicola. Nicola really coming out the aggressor here. Oh! Nicola just missing that spinning back fist, but he took one and it is a knockdown. Not a type of knockdown that's gonna actually, that he's actually uh, bothered by. He took one in the midsection, it looked like. He looks absolutely all right. And they're now asking the judges, that's a knock, no knockdown? It's not a knockdown. They're not calling it a knockdown. He did take in the midsection. Round up is an off balance. Nice overhand right by Nikola. That one landed. Good left jab by Nikola. You can see the speed of his hands. Teo trying to bring that knee up. Blocked nicely by Nikola. Good left right by Nikola. Teo landing his own left. Oh, good left by Nikola again. Another left by Nikola. He's really throwing him. Good low kick by Nikola. Teo just missing that high kick. He landed it. Blocked nicely by Nikola. And Teo missing that knee right there. Blocked nicely by Nikola. Good right by Nikola. Partially blocked by Teo. Teo's like, come on, man. That's all you got. It's as hard as you hit. Good left, right, left combination by Nikola. The action's beginning to speed. Oh, nice high kick by Teo. The action's really picking up here in the first round. Very early on. I wasn't expecting it this early. Good overhand right by Teo. Nicola missing that spinning back fist. Didn't have anything on it anyway. This fight is gonna be good. That's all I can say. It's starting out nicely and I think it's just gonna get better from here. We already got a bloody nose by Nicola. Left, right block nicely by Nicola. Nice spinning back kick in the midsection by Teo. Nice knee by Nicola. They were very close into one another. Oh, Teo with that high kick. Nicola brings his gloves up just in the last second blocks and a good left hook to end the round by Nicola on Teo. Nice high kicks coming out of Teo's corner. That's all I can say. Nicola right now blocking him, but if one of those get through, man, there's a lot of power behind it. It's gonna be lights out, that's for sure. And Nicola has to be careful not to allow Teo to land that high kick. It's very quick and it's a lot of power behind it. And so far he's done a good job at throwing it. It's been spot on. Nicola's just done a good job at blocking it. Let's see what happens here in the second round. You can tell that both these fighters want the victory. You can smell it in the air, man. There's some animosity in the ring between these two. What I say to Nicola, he doesn't go down himself very, very easy. Good strong chin. Teo looking to have a good strong chin himself. Well, Teo in the end seems to have landed some of the bigger punches. Again, left, right to open up with the jazz by Nicola. And there's that spinning high kick from Teo missing. Yeah, trying to go with that left right jab. Nice high kick by Teo. Nice right by Teo. And he did land that left knee. Teo did land the left knee. Had no effect on Nicola. Nicola just charging forward right now. 
Good right by Nicola. And again, Nicola trying to go with that spinning back fist and missing. Big overhand right missing by Nicola. Taylor landing a light jab. If you love kickboxing, boxing, this is definitely the type of fight that you're gonna love to watch. A lot of action, two quick fighters, both have power. Somebody's gonna land that big shot. And now I'm just waiting for it. Good left jab by Nicola. Good right hook by Nicola. Try to bring that left knee in, blocked nicely by Teo. Right now, neither of these fighters have been uh, hit or kicked enough that their defense is down. They've both done a good job of protecting their head. Good right uppercut by Teo. Teo's done a good job. Nicola being the aggressor, but Teo doing a great job of using the ring and making Nicola chase him. Nice mid kick by Teo. You hear that pop? That one sounded like it happened right next to you. Good overhand right by Teo. Landing right behind the ear of Nicola. Good left jab by Teo. Teo missing that big overhand right again. Threw it a second time. It went right over the top of Nicola's head. Nicola right now kind of missing his shots. Good kick by Nicola. The action's kind of slowed down here a little bit. A lot of these kicks and punches are getting blocked. I don't have a clear favorite of who I think is actually winning this fight. It's close enough at this point. The only thing I will say is that Teo's done a great job of utilizing the entire ring and forcing Nicola to chase him. But Nicola's not backing down and he is the aggressor in this fight and he's going after Teo. 10 seconds left. The third round is gonna be interesting to see. Nice left-right combination jabs by Teo, both landing from close quarters. It's gonna be a very interesting third round to see between these two fighters. Who's gonna make the change? Who's gonna get that opening? Who's gonna utilize that opening to get to their opponent? At the way, as the way it stands right now, I am almost looking at a fourth round. I couldn't imagine to not be in a fourth round in this fight. This fight's so close. Third and final round. Good spinning back kick right in the midsection by Teo to open it up. Nicola, remember, in the second round was, was not landing. Oh, what a beautiful left-right combination followed the mid kick by Teo, landed all three of them. Nicola was missing a lot of his shots. In the second round, he's got to do something. He's not as accurate tonight as he usually is. Good right hook by Nicola. The Teo countered, and that one looked like it had a bit of an effect on Nicola. Good spinning back fist by Nicola, but only landed in the midsection, not the head. Again, both fighters have done a great job of protecting their heads in this fight. But Teo has gotten through just a little bit more. There's a left right again by Teo. A good right by Nicola, but just, just not landing square. He needs that one good square punch. He's a little bit off target today. I'm actually surprised with the way that Teo's been moving around the ring that Nicola didn't try and back him into a corner before he came after him. There's that low kick by Nicola. He's a very, very powerful kicker. Left right by Teo. Nice left by Nicola. 
Good overhand right by Nicolas. Teo tried to grab him. Oh, what a nice spinny back fist by Nicola. That was beautiful, and that one landed. <laughs> Looks like Teo's trying to run out. He's looked like he's running out a little steam here. He tries to go with that high kick, unable to land it, blocked nicely by Nicola. I definitely see a fourth round coming up in this fight. The action is intense. It's a lot of action, a lot of live action, very high paced and close enough that I'm not sure you can give anybody the victory right now. What do we got here in time? Oh, big with his back turn. Teo had a open shot there at that high kick and he kind of just let it go, but he would have hit him in the back of the head and that would, not, would, have, been, that would have been not good. Left, right by Teo. Good straight kick by Teo. They're trying to bring that knee and Nicholas got to do something. Looks like he's kind of running out of energy himself now. He tried to fight a very high paced, aggressive style. I think he missed too many uh, punches. In the second round, looks like he slowed down a little bit. 10 seconds left. Good right by Teo. Nice left, right, left by Nicola. And that should pretty much be it. That is it. Let's see what happens here if there's a fourth round or not. I'm not so sure you can give anybody that fight right now. I don't know how you're calling it at home, but I think it's even enough and it was fun enough that we deserve a fourth round. Replay to that left right by Teo, blocked nicely by Nicola. And there was that spinning back fist. They just cut it out a little bit too quick. And that was a great spinning back fist, actually. And Teo just gobbled that one up. Just waiting for the uh, scorecard. The judges. For the ceremony of awarding, let me invite the president W5 version, Mr. Sergei Chipinoga, to the ring. So we do have a decision. <laughs> there is a decision. <laughs> Gentlemen, is it a split decision or a unanimous Ladies decision? This the is up for grabs, in my opinion. A unanimous decision. The fighter from the Red Corner. Oh, Teo McKellich winning by unanimous Mikhailich. decision. I think it's a fair call. I thought he did land a lot of the bigger punches, but I thought the fight was close enough that maybe we would see a fourth round. Congratulations to him. Can't argue that call at all. Nicola did a great job trying to land punches, but he just wasn't on. He just didn't seem to be on target tonight. Right now, the fighter's getting their rewards. 